work too damn long and too damn hard to bring a closure to that failed facility. Those families, those kids, and our communities deserve better. And I'm going to shout, I'm going to yell, I'm tired, I'm angry, because we should have done this in 2017, we should have done this in 2018, 2019, and here we are, kicking the can down the road another couple of years. And that facility isn't going to get any safer for the kids or safer for the staff. The recidivism rate isn't going to reduce. They're going to come home worse than they get sent in. The juvenile crime rate isn't going to fall like it should, like other states are doing. And we'll continue to have one of the largest juvenile prisons in America. The question is not why am I so loud. It's why you are not. Why are you silent? Why are you not pushing? Why are you not calling for this? Why did you strip the funding in the budget process? I, I respect Representative Warren's response about choices. And, and, and I'm right and he's right. It is a choice. And let's be very crystal clear about that. It's a difficult choice. I, I, I don't believe that there's an endless pot of money. I do believe that tax revenues are higher than projected. I do believe that there's money available to spend on these facilities. I do believe the majority party is going to pass legislation in the next couple of weeks to spend some of that additional revenue. That is a choice. It's not an endless pot of money, but there is money available now that we did not project that we would have when we, bud when we passed this budget. And it is absolutely a choice that that money gets spent in other ways than funding the facilities that need to be built to bring a closure to Lincoln Hills.